What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dollar Mike back at again with another video. You guys already know what I'm talking about today. We're talking about some credit cards today. If you guys don't know who, who I am or what I do here on YouTube, I make personal finance content. So if you're interested in stuff like that, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button to see more like it. Either way, this video should be titled something like why I have 10 credit cards because I have 10 credit cards at the age of 25 right now. And I honestly plan to get more because I got more credit card things I need to go and take care of. But why exactly? Why do I have 10 different credit cards? They're all right here. Why do I have 10 different credit cards? We're going to talk about that in today's video, the value of credit cards, all that kind of good stuff. It's all good to know and it's great information either way. So stay locked in, stay tuned. We're going to get right into the video. Let's so yes 10 credit cards at the age of 25 i just got my 10 credit card about two weeks ago that is known as the best buy card the best buy rewards card whatever you want to call it um it's a solid card honestly i haven't talked about it before it's a great card that i should have gotten before but i was too busy worried about getting my chase sapphire and all the whole chase cards regardless but you guys know the deal if you guys have seen my previous videos talking about credit cards you guys know i have a lot of credit cards you know why i use them but for the people that don't know this video is exactly for you and i do plan on still getting more because i have more options coming forward either way i'm not going to waste your time trying to beat around the bush and give you all these different examples and stuff i'm going to tell you straight how it is why do i have all these credit cards honestly the reason i have all these credit cards is to simply max out the rewards and point bonuses and free travel and free stuff that i get from actually getting every last one of these credit cards and using the benefits that these credit cards provide to me for instance the best buy credit card right here because we have examples solid examples the best buy credit card right here offers me either five percent cash back on my purchases that i make from best buy or i can go ahead and use make a big purchase maybe buy a new tv which i did check out the vlog channel buy a new tv a sound system all kind of stuff for a couple of thousand dollars and then i don't have any interest to pay for for the next 18 months so as long as this card is paid off within the next 18 months i have nothing to worry about and i pay exactly how much i want to pay instead of pretty much putting up three thousand dollars to buy a tv sound system and whatever else i want to buy from best buy at that given point this is the bank of america cash rewards credit card this is actually my first credit card ever a solid credit card if you're interested into getting into this credit card reward bonus things anyway this one offers three percent cash back on ro rotating categories so you can get three percent back in groceries maybe gas maybe online shopping whatever you want but you get to choose whatever you want for the cash back that you receive so that's customized cash back is solid there and you'll also get two percent back on other things and then one percent back on everything else you spend with this card past that card we have my chase sapphire preferred card another solid credit card while probably one of my favorite credit cards and also a solid credit card if you're getting into travel so with that chase sapphire card has tons of different benefits which i'll probably just put on screen because there's so many different benefits but this is honestly the go-to beginner travel credit card for me and on top of that the sign up bonus for this card i believe when i signed up received i received about eighty thousand points when i signed up which is about a value of about twelve hundred dollars if i spent four thousand dollars within the first three months now i mentioned that sign up bonus for a very good reason all these credit cards i don't get just to get obviously i have a purpose behind getting them usually it's just for the points and stuff like that and other times it might just be a benefit for myself but in the chase sapphire reason i was starting to travel a little bit more so sure but the sign up bonus is actually a great reason to get a card but it's only a great reason to get the card if you're actually going to use that sign up bonus and actually spend that money that you would need normally spend anyway you just put it on the card so if i had to make a four thousand dollar purchase or spend four thousand dollars over the next three months on something i don't know what's coming up for me personally i actually do have to do it personally but i don't know what's going on with you if you do have to go ahead and make a huge purchase coming up or just a lot of purchases that will equal up to that amount of money then go ahead and put it on this make sure you pay for it on time in full every single month to cover yourself so you're not paying any interest simply because you're going to get free bonus rewards points from it you're going to get all the other benefits that this car provides purchase insurance through an actual insurance companies maybe car insurance maybe luggage and travel insurance it all matters it all depends on whatever card you got but this particular car like i said before is a travel card so it has a lot of travel perks hotel uh reimbursements hotel rooms every single year free rooms free hotel credit it's all covered it's all on this card and it's on other cards as well if you're interested literally with my chase sapphire preferred and my chase freedom flex all the points that i received from this card i have not used any points on either one of these cards since i've gotten these cards and all the points i have on there can literally pretty much fly me anywhere in the world on a business class flight plus a whole bunch of other amenities and perks just from using using the points redeeming the points on money that i was spending anyway 
everything that I got these cards for, every reason I got these cards for is money that I was going to spend anyway. And it just gives me more perks and it'll do the same thing for you as long as you use them correctly. And I made tons of credit card videos already on the channel before. So definitely check those videos out. It'll be linked right up there in my credit cards playlist. But yes, we are at 10 credit cards at 25 now. And I do have to make another purchase soon. So we'll probably be at 11 not too far from now. On top of that, when I do take that nice business class trip for free wherever I want to go in the world. I do plan on documenting that and it'll likely be on the second channel link right up there. Now, if you're just watching one of my credit card videos for the first time, maybe somebody else, maybe you want to get into credit cards, you're doing your research on credit cards, trying to figure out what you really want, what you need, what's going to work best for you. Do you may be wondering why do these banks actually allow people to go ahead and get free travel from using their cards? Like what's the point of that? Don't banks lose money from that? And I guess you could say, yes, they do, but nothing is actually free. Even though I said you get those free bonus points or free rewards points it's not free because you still have to spend money but the thing that makes it great is when you use the credit card the right way you're going to spend that money anyway so all these credit cards that i got this one's the apple card right here but all these credit cards that i got like i said i'm buying stuff that i'm going to buy anyway i'm not spending any extra money that i wouldn't normally spend and that's the whole point I'm going to pay for it because I can afford to pay for it. You don't go and pick up a credit card, get a $10,000 limit and not pay for it because you just think it's magically going to pay for itself because it's not. And then you're going to, have to pay interest. And if you don't pay the interest, then your credit score is going to be shot. And if your credit score is going to be shot, then you're probably not going to be able to do a lot of other things with your credit, like get an apartment, get a house, get a car loan, do whatever you want to do, maybe insurance, depending on what insurance company you go with, anything. And having bad credit is not a good way to live your life. I can promise you that. So number one, credit card companies and banks do not just give you free stuff. You have to spend money to make significantly more back versus spending your regular money, which you probably won't get anything back. So that's number one. It's not free, but it is free if you use it the right way. Number two is that they want your business. If you open up a maybe an Apple card or maybe you open up a Chase or get the Best Buy card, then you probably have their business. You're more locked into their business, so you're probably going to spend more money with them versus spending it at a competitor, and that's exactly what they want. They want you to go ahead, for instance, Chase, they want you to go ahead and maybe open up a Chase checking account, a savings account, get a loan with Chase to get your home or to get a car loan or something like that. And you're more likely to do that if you're already a Chase customer or already a Bank of America customer or already a Wells Fargo customer. So they want your business and if they can get your business, then that's more money they're going to make off of you. So why not take advantage of all the perks that they offer for the low, low price of free as long as you use these credit cards the right way. And number three, to be completely honest, they think you're stupid. Yes, they think you're stupid because here's the thing. With these credit cards, like I said before, you have to pay interest on these credit cards. You don't use them the right way. That could destroy your credit score. That could destroy your credit, all that kind of good stuff. If you don't use credit cards the right way. And I have a perfect example here. When I first got this card, this is known as the Barclays View credit card. I simply use this credit card to pay like two bills right now, my LA Fitness membership and like something else. I can't really remember what else I use it for. But the whole point is when I got this credit card originally, this was the Uber credit card. The Uber credit card turned out to be a fail for uber pretty much because we were making money i was making a lot of money from the uber credit card but they weren't making a lot of money off of me so they had to go and rebrand the card and this is that simple whole point is when they rebranded the card i had about a three thousand dollar limit i think three or four thousand dollar limit on my uber credit card when it got rebrand rebranded to the barclays view credit card they upgraded my credit limit from three thousand to ten thousand dollars i didn't ask for this they just did this on their own three thousand dollars to ten thousand dollars so for someone that's young that might not understand credit that might not really have the best personal finance skills or manage their money well going from a three thousand dollar limit or even a thousand dollar going from a three thousand dollar limit to a ten thousand dollar limit is a huge deal because someone that's inexperienced with credit cards or just understanding money might not understand that yeah i have a ten thousand dollar limit but i really shouldn't spend as much as much as i have and some people just do they simply do and if they do spend that much money, then they have to pay that money back. When they pay that money back, they likely don't have that $10,000 if they ran the card up fully. They likely don't have that $10,000 to pay the card off that single month. You can run up this card to 10, I can run up this card to $10,000, who cares, no big deal. But if I don't have $10,000 to put down on it to pay it off, in that month, they're not going to be charged and hit with interest every single month until the card is fully paid off. And it's not going to get any easier the longer I wait. And I'm also going to be losing out on money the longer I wait as well, which offsets the points that I may receive from this card, which 
like I said, it doesn't make sense if you're gonna go ahead and run it up and pay interest anyway. And you may be watching this video right now and thinking, Mike, well, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna pay it off in full every single month, get the points, boom, bam, bop, and go about my day. And you know, be all good to go. So who actually does this? And the sad truth is millions of people do it because millions of people pay interest every single month. Millions of people don't even understand the concept of interest and should not have a credit card to begin with, but simply put, they do. So this is for the people out there, please pay your credit card off in full every single month. Do not spend more than what you had to spend. If you cannot pay it back in full that month, please do not spend the money on it. And even if you can, it's still a great risk and you're going to keep keeping yourself in that cycle of debt isn't just isn't a good thing to do at least not credit card debt if you're gonna put the debt into something maybe put it into a home but at least put it into something that can appreciate over time versus something that's gonna depreciate over time but from the time being these credit card companies won't see a dime of interest from me and i'll happily collect all their perks that they offer on all of these cards at free of cost, of course, because that's the only way to do it. So definitely take care of yourselves and do just that. Like I said before, I have credit card links right up there. They'll tell you all about that and your credit score as well, because you got to make sure your credit score is solid to even get approved for some of these credit cards. And if you have any questions about any of these credit cards or just credit cards in general, definitely let me know down in the comment section below. But if you're trying to get approved for a particular credit card that you have in mind, like I said, just drop it down in the comment section below and I can give you the information that I might have on it to hopefully help you out and get you approved. If you need to know more about your credit score, I already made a video about it. It'll be ranked, linked right up there. So you'll be all good to go there as well. Either way, like I said, that's all I really got. Make, let me know if you got any questions down in the comment section below. I'm here for you all. I'm out. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. Stay positive. Dollar Mike. This is a nice chair, by the way. We're going to talk about this chair in the future. Anyway, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> Dollar Mike. Peace.